ByteDance released a new multimodal model that achieved a state of the art in 38 out of 60 public benchmarks and beat the competition, namely Google and OpenAI, while being much smaller in size. China also released a new astronomically fast image generator that iterates through your ideas as fast as you could type them. Google also released a new multimodal model so small that it could run on your phone and it is surprisingly smart. But it seems like China might be unbeatable as they destroyed the entire AI competition in the most important metric of all, the defining factor of the AI race, and no one is even close. Some of these announcements happened earlier in the week, some happened later, but they are all painting a bigger picture. So ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, dropped Seed 1.5 VL a new vision language foundation model. This model is designed to handle challenging multimodal tasks, like combining visuals and text, video understanding, automating agentic workflows, and more. Seed 1.5 VL combines a 532 million parameter vision encoder with a 20 billion activate parameter mixture of experts LLM. For comparison, most of the -the state-of-the-art models are talking in trillions of parameters these days. With this simple and small setup, Seed 1.5 VL is topping 38 out of 60 public benchmarks, outperforming models from Google, OpenAI, and Anthropic. What makes Seed 1.5 VL so powerful? It seems like China has to compensate for compute limitations with high-quality data. The model is trained on 3 trillion carefully curated high-quality tokens, everything from text, video, audio, and images. The model is comprised of two main parts. The Seed VIT receives the images and the videos at native resolution and encodes them to tokens for the LLM. And the large language model itself is a reasoning model that was trained on reward model and verifiers on the final solution. But there was no supervision on the chain of thought, which means they didn't force any specific thinking strategy. The model came up with clever ways to solve hard problems through reinforcement learning on its own. The model is able to work with GUI applications and perform tasks based on a stream of videos. The model matches or beats much larger models on image classification, video understanding and reasoning and more. So let's see a couple of jaw-dropping capabilities of the model in action. The model is tasked to look at this insanely large list of dish names and prices and it perfectly outputs the entire list in a table. This one actually took me a second to realize the AI is correct. How many cats are in this picture? I thought it's a cat and it's shadow, but I thought the shadow seemed a little wanky. But there are actually two cats. And the beautiful part is, the AI not only recognizes two cats, it actually realizes why you might be confused about it. The black shape is a real cat, not a shadow. Here is another insanely long and complicated picture, but the AI is able to answer questions about it no problem. The AI is also able to point things out inside the picture, like counting the strawberries and putting them in a box inside the image as well. This is a huge news for the AI industry, the first competitive multimodal AI out of China. But I actually like the next one more. Around the same time, Tencent released Han Yuan Image 2.0. And this thing is one of the coolest image generator models on the planet. While everyone is going down the path of slower, more accurate, and higher quality images, Han Yuan Image 2.0 is so fast, you can't write before it drops the image. And it's a real game changer. It not only works with text, it generates based on voice and sketch. Its lightning speed means you can get exactly what you want at a high quality. Because honestly, the only reason you might be settling down for something that is not quite what you imagined is that you don't want to spend hours staring at a loading animation. We've had this sort of lightning fast image generators before, but not at this quality. This is probably the first time that a real-time image generator reached the threshold of acceptable quality as well. What is uniquely interesting about this model is the drawing board. You can sketch an image or adjust the setting in real time. Imagine a classroom where the teacher creates images of anything she wants to explain or a streamer who doesn't have to rely on these ugly sketches anymore. Even for artists who are looking for maximum quality, the ability to iterate through multiple ideas is super valuable. One caveat here is that I actually tried the model myself, and it didn't look real-time at all. 
the claim is millisecond response time. But for me, I had to wait at least 10 to 15 seconds, sometimes even way more for each generation. My inner connection isn't the best and China is pretty far away, so you can visit hanyuan.tencent.com slash realtime image and try it out for yourself. Google also released another banger after Google I.O. And this thing is ridiculous. A multimodal model that can run on as little as 2 gigabytes of RAM. One year ago, this would sound like fantasy. Gemma 3N is an open source Google model that is designed to run on the device, meaning no internet connection. And this means almost all applications are going to slowly include generative AI into their apps. Android is being shipped with more and more built-in AI capabilities that could be accessed by the developers. And Gemma 3N is a preview for the capabilities that would slowly roll out to Gemma Nano and all devices. Google already offers AI core on flagships. And this will continue to evolve. Take a look at the demo running on the phone. Can you guess which famous figure is this? This is a cartoon drawing of Einstein. The wavy hair, the mustache, and the mischievous grin are all telltale signs. Google literally can't stop winning. But we have to go back to the most important metric of AI success that China is destroying the entire world on, including Google. What do you think the endgame is? When trillions of dollars in investment comes to fruition, when AI finally automates jobs and starts printing money, everyone would want to put money and effort into this magical machine that is the biggest leverage the world has ever seen. But the machine has a serious limitation. China at the moment outputs 3 terawatts of electricity. That's more than 30% of the entire world's electricity production. But they are also the fastest growing. China adds as much as the entire US production capacity every 18 months. Projected forward, China dwarfs every other country by 2030. After DeepSeek happened, the AI labs started talking about the fact that DeepSeek isn't multimodal. Now with clearly capable and also efficient multimodal models, China shows that they are not that behind once again. Even if China is 6 months to a year behind, their capacity to supply massive amounts of energy to this revolutionary machine is unmatched. US has multiple AI juggernauts, but on the other hand, electricity production at the scale is not trivial. I'm curious to know what you guys think. China, US, and what happens to the rest of the world? Let me know if you have any strong opinions in the comments. And if you don't, have a nice day.